hello again. And uh, hello again from Alessandro. And from Abe. Uh, now, at the very beginning, we are going to leave IntelliJ from a site, probably, because we want to somehow give some... In the last episode, we talked about line segments. But in open R and R, there is a family of this thing that somehow is one a generalization of the other, right? So what are these, Abe? Yeah. So we have taken a look into like seg line segment, mm -hmm. which has a start and an end. That's the most simple um, liney mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, component. Linear can... piece of geometry. Yeah. Basically. Then we have the big brother. Is well, this is called line, line segment. segment. Then we have segment, mm -hmm. uh, which can act in a similar way. It can be uh, a straight segment with start mm -hmm. and end, but it can also be a Bezier curve mm -hmm. that has one one control point. Mm -hmm. So this control point kind of pulls uh, the curve right towards it. Right, and we can also have. So this is what is it? This quadratic, yeah, uh, yeah quadratic. quadratic. Yeah, this is quadratic Bezier mm -hmm. curve, and then we have a cubic one. Mm -hmm. So if we have also start and end, but then we have mm -hmm. two control points, mm -hmm. which is what people mostly associate to Bezier curve in general. Yeah, like the one with uh, yeah. So nice. This <laughs> excuse my terrible mm -hmm. <laughs> typing, um, uh, but yeah. So a segment can be straight or curved mm -hmm. uh, with one or two control points. Right. So line segment is a specialization of segment in a certain sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on top of this, mm -hmm. we have a shape contour, mm -hmm. which also is also friendly called contours. Con yeah. Yeah. Most of the time. Which is a collection of segments. Segments. Exactly. Um, so we could have a straight segment and then a Bezier and then uh, a cubic a spline or stuff like this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could have uh, this shape contour that has four pairs of start and end. Mm -hmm. And maybe this one here is uh, that has no control point. Mm -hmm. Maybe these two have one control point and, and this one points. two control points. So that's a shape contour. Mm -hmm. It can be filled or not filled. Mm -hmm. And then... On top of shape contour, we have shape. Mm -hmm. And a shape can be a collection of shape contours. contours yes. For example, you could, have, you could use two shape contours, mm -hmm. and one of them defines a hole. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the inner one is a hole on the outer one, so you could have... And in particular, a shape contour also comes with its own properties, like length, like you know, multiple things. Mm -hmm. in the same, and in the same way, shape comes with the notion of an area. You can fill, for instance, yes, the area that you have uh, dashed there. So, yeah. So here we have two sh uh, shape contours. And mm -hmm. they also don't have to be one inside the other. Like you mm -hmm. could have a collection. It's of basically, you can group them in a certain sense, right? Yeah. This is the same as with SVGs mm -hmm. when you group part of SVG, say in uh, Inkscape or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a bit of an overview of the parts. And mm -hmm. in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at segment. Mm -hmm. Let's do something with segments there. Something wobbly, <laughs> I expect. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, we could start doing something similar to what we had before, mm -hmm. like a lot of horizontal lines. Mm -hmm. but, but now we make them wobble yeah. a bit with yeah. some control points. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's make a list of 50 segments. You want to give it this, a name? Ah, I need a name of some kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, segs. Segs, yes. <laughs> and then this is going to be a segment. Oh, mm -hmm. not a segment. <laughs> segment. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, this is a good occasion to show what happens when you are too fast mm -hmm. <laughs> and you import... And you import something from the, the, the Java library that you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Notice that we imported here Java X swing yeah. text. So yes. delete. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then this becomes an error again. And now I can actually import the right thing, mm -hmm. which is... The like, open render yeah. version of segment. And here we're going to need some points, mm -hmm. uh, vector twos. We at least need two if we want to mm -hmm. start and end, but we can uh, add more. We can add a control point. Mm -hmm. So vector two, uh, let's put it on the left border of the screen. Yeah. And let's do the same like before. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll calculate a T that is. Mm -hmm. So we could have basically horizontal segments mm -hmm. that are controlled in the middle. Yeah. So, okay, super. We can start straight, then we add one exactly. point, and then we add two yeah. points. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So this is left, and let me see, uh, segment, 
uh, we need a vertical t position t times height yeah height and vector 2 this is going to be width, the width times 1.0 mm -hmm. and t times height mm -hmm. so this is a bunch of horizontal segments mm -hmm. let's prove 50 i guess yeah. mm -hmm. draw segments mm -hmm. see that now we don't call line right. segments right you would uh, get an error, a type error because yeah. these are two different types. Save and there is our lines. I'm gonna Perfect. add more. Mm -hmm. mm, <laughs> this is a kind of bit of a side, but you see, if I change this number, I want to change also so this. So probably, what's the what would be the better strategy? Yeah, let's have a variable n. Let's call it n. N for number, mm -hmm. uh, 150. Mm -hmm. So then I can do here n. But now. Mm -hmm. Go and divide by n. What is going to happen now? If I tap here n? Yes. Yeah, uh, interesting. This becomes an int mm -hmm. and it fails to work. So, what's the hacky way to do it? <laughs> or at least I could multiply yes, by exactly. 1.0. Yes, exactly. That's what I do. Or, or in this case, if you want to cover the whole space, mm -hmm. I would subtract one mm -hmm. because this way I would have a line at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's our boring straight lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, let's add a control point in the middle between mm -hmm. the first one and the second mm -hmm. one. Let's randomize this control point, probably. Uh, easy. We can we first... Let's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we randomize it. Mm -hmm. What is a fixed one? Uh, center of the screen? Yeah, center of the screen, yeah. That could be drawer bound center. Mm -hmm. And boom. <laughs> Then we very nice. All the lines are pulled towards and we can the center. And just see some uh, moire. Yeah, slightly yeah. happening. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see. So mm -hmm. <coughs> we could animate this, mm -hmm. or or what? What would be the next step? I think the next step would be to ah, the next step would be the following. We can get um, a contour point that is either a little bit up or a little bit down from the from the um, oh. the line. Uh -huh. So the, maybe we can use direction uh, for this. You have to tell me. I don't know what's in your mind. <laughs> so basically, I want to take the direction of the segment, yeah. take the normal, yeah. and put the contour in the middle, a bit up and a bit down. Uh huh. So we draw a new line for each line, or we draw uh, no, we change the control point. I see. Instead uh, of making a point to the center, yes, each of these lines will have their control point, mm -hmm. so that they will go a bit up or a bit down, a bit up or a bit down. Okay, okay. You, have, you have to tell me. <laughs> okay, what so type. what we can do, we can take the. In this case, it's easy because they are all uh, horizontal. Mm -hmm. So we can take uh, vector dot unit y. Mm -hmm. Where do I type that? It has another control point? No, 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 oh, instead oh. of the bound center. Uh -huh. Vector? Uh, dot unit y. Vector 2 unit y. Yeah, unit y. Just multiply for... a. Uh, actually, I would do like uh, multiply random between minus 20 and 20. Mm -hmm. And then I would add the middle point, the center. Uh, the center of the... The, ori the line that you would have exactly, created. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, okay. But in this case, it's, it's easy because it's width times 0, 0,5, no? And, mm -hmm. uh, and t multiplied by height. Um, right? Uh, Let's see what happens. Uh, add plus. Plus. Vector 2. Vector 2. Uh, width. Uh. Like the width. A time no no vector two of two components the, ah. yeah <laughs> width uh, times zero dot five plus uh, no sorry comma yeah. uh, t uh, times height t times height let's see what happens Whoa. yes <laughs> this is what I wanted to do <laughs> I see this is what I wanted to do so <laughs> now of course if we change where the I, control point uh -huh. is uh, added yeah. we have different curves because some have uh, uh, you know a bump before some mm -hmm. will have a bump after let me decode this because I I didn't I was I was not in your mind so okay, let me yes. read it and that's uh, a good thing yeah. <laughs> probably <laughs> so we are creating a segment and mm -hmm. it's starting uh, at a regularly spaced position on the yes. left of the screen, yes. and it ends in the opposite side on the right side of the screen. Exactly. But then we add a control point, mm -hmm. and this control point, uh, I can start with this part. Mm -hmm. This part is the X is on the center of the screen, mm -hmm. 
and the vertical is let me see height times t mm -hmm. okay that's that's Th also the original position exactly uh -huh. so this is the middle point yeah. of the original segment yeah so this is yeah the mm -hmm. middle point and then we deform that a little bit with the first expression in the direction of the normal yeah to the yeah okay but it happens to be the normal because we have also methods to calculate the normal. Exactly. But in this case, it's just a y, yes, y yes. vector. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, in, in general, suppose that the, the line were not originally horizontally, mm -hmm. horizontally displaced, but were randomly displaced. Mm -hmm. What I would do, I would compute uh, the end point minus the start point mm -hmm. and just uh, obtain the normal. Yeah, to it yeah. and do the same, you know, getting the middle point mm -hmm. and move it in that direction. Yeah. In this case, I've used shortcuts yeah, yeah, yeah. domain knowledge yeah. because I know that they were horizontal. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. That is a nice effect. I like it. Yeah. I want to try a bit one thing I tried before mm -hmm. um, with wobbling the positions on the left and on the right. Mm -hmm. Then we can add a control point. I'll yeah. go, I go back to yeah. perfect. Super. And now. I want to shift the t times height part mm -hmm. a bit up and down. Mm -hmm. So I will just use the sign um, of t. Let me see what we have. Okay, sign of t is going to be a very small amount because mm -hmm. it's just... But multiply maybe yeah. by 2 pi, so we can show that there is pi uh, in over Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Do in we, Kotlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, I'm going to exaggerate it a, fish, mm -hmm. a bit, uh, so make it... Uh, this is still very subtle, uh, 20 pixels up and down. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is sign, we're getting a very s a small range mm -hmm. of sign. So it's like looking at a tiny part of this exactly. curve. So if we increase this number, then 2, 3, well, you mentioned pi. Uh, that pi. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to actually make it even more extreme, mm -hmm. uh, like 10. Or yeah. 20. Now again, the more effect will... D d d uh, yeah. And this is what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Like, you see now it's no longer evenly spaced. Mm -hmm. And some are, yeah, closer to each yeah. other. Well, but they are evenly spaced on the mm -hmm. other side. So I'm going to repeat the same trick. Mm -hmm. um, if it's... Uh, sometimes I make a mistake. Uh, I think it's maybe the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crashes when I have a mm -hmm. wrong parenthesis. So now they're horizontal, but if we add a shift, um, I don't know, like math of pi, mm -hmm. then... And we could also add uh, these, make it dependent on time. Yeah. Time seconds, yeah. basically. And that's I mean, super cool. And that would be super cool. So let's move this block... Yeah, we need to move stuff into the extend loop. Into the extend loop. And now we can add here seconds, for yeah. example. Oh, nice effect. <laughs> it's very cool. And I'm going to subtract uh, but seconds here. But let's do here. also something like let's make the, the velocity depend on the, um, on the index. Uh -huh. so like uh, seconds multiplied by a function of it. Of it. Hmm? it. Or of t. Yeah. No, of it, of it, of it. I can... Uh, ah, so the speed is different. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to call it speed, just to not make this line even mm -hmm. longer. Mm -hmm. Well, speed is going to be 1 plus e times 0, 0, 1, mm -hmm. for example. So that way, the first one, I get speed mm -hmm. 1, mm -hmm. and then the second and next ones are a bit mm -hmm. faster. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> yes. Try to decrease a little bit the, multi the factor multiplying, like, yeah, just to see... Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now this is nice. And I can also use the speed on the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, times speed. Maybe I should put this in two lines. So uh, huh, disappeared somehow. Seconds times speed. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if I put plus. Okay. <laughs> so basically <laughs> is is uh, interfacing almost destructively he, it's accumulating on the border mm -hmm. but it's opening in the middle yeah. so in the middle we see less of these uh, yeah. this is really cool but I have to say maybe I like it more without the speed here mm -hmm. uh, only one speed yes exactly yeah. let me see yeah yeah 
And now we could add, because it's currently wavy, yeah, nice. yes. we have straight segments, mm -hmm. uh, but we can add another uh, control point on mm -hmm. the middle. Mm -hmm. And what would be in that control point? Uh, vector. So we want here the horizontal center of the screen. Mm -hmm. So width. Hi. Ah, sorry. Width, this width times, times O5. O5. And then the position. And the position. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see what we could do it more extreme, for example. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. And um, yeah, we can play with this formula and see. Mm -hmm. So now they're no it's longer. It's very nice. No like longer, this really yeah. looks like uh, sand yeah. that is moving somehow. And if you put a negative sign here, then it goes in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. The other. End. And we could also try to to wrap up this episode mm -hmm. by doing the same thing we did before, like using a different uh, thickness for each of these lines mm -hmm. to see the effect. So instead of having segments here, we yeah. can have uh, um, right. Um, but, uh, I also want to try one thing. Okay. The try. Find the nearest point on, on each of these curves right. to the center of the screen. Right, because segments have their own uh, built-in method yeah. to find the near, nearest point on the curve. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so. That's the points. It's going to be, yeah. I'm going to map the segments. Mm -hmm. And we want, it I think it's nearest yeah. to drawer bounce. bounce center. Yeah. So you can see how easy. It's just this tiny... <laughs> one line. Yeah. Now we have the points which are on each line, on mm -hmm. each curve, mm -hmm. closer to the center of the screen. Mm -hmm. And we can draw those as we, as we did before with circles, uh, points, uh, five, for example. Should I, we set some color? Yeah, like remove the stroke and m maybe five is big. Ah, wait, segment point. Uh, I... There's one thing uh, we got. Yes. The result of the, of it, this operation is right. not a position, but actually we won. So we yeah. The position. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, what did you say about the color? Um, to no, I was saying that maybe the radius. Has, mm, let's try a bit um, shorter, like two. Two. And the color make it. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Very to, nice. What I wanted to show. Yes. Because it feels like a line yeah. that is on some waves and it's pulled up and down by the waves. Yeah, at least yeah. that's what it feels to me. But no. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. nice when it's small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So very nice. Okay, so we cover we we talked about segments. We show how to add control points and some, uh, in particular, an interesting thing like uh, um, computing the distance, the, the closest point. Um, on the curve to an external point, in this case, the center of the screen. There are tons of methods yeah. in uh, segments. You Basically, we could talk for hours and hours <laughs> and hours about that, but we hope that now you have uh, you know, curiosity to go and uh, explore yeah. how this... Just open the, the file, mm -hmm. you can control click and... and or also just, uh, you know, just uh, create a segment, dot, yeah. and IntelliJ will tell you... Exactly. That we suggest you the various things that you can do. Exactly. You can okay. see there. Mm -hmm. So that's all for uh, us. Yeah. We'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.